Welcome back to I Shine Connect. What would happen if we actually decided to change? If we used the Bible. If we used the Bible. The Bible. To help us with everyday situations. Our friends, our music, our families. Is there any topic the Bible doesn't cover? This. 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 This is iTopics. So the other day, I heard a question, and it really changed the way I thought about life and about music in general. And the question was, what does the music on your iPod say about who you are? So I had to go back and check over and see what I had, and I wasn't too happy with what I found. I mean, it wasn't horrible stuff, but it was just stuff without a meaning or without a purpose. So I had to ask myself, is that how I want to live my life? Meaningless and without a purpose? I had to take that stuff off because I'm a strong believer in what goes in has to come out. And the things we surround ourselves in eventually becomes who we are. The reason I got in this band was to give people music that glorifies God and encourages them to lift Him up. So I encourage you guys to surround yourselves in things that lift up God, things that encourage you to worship Him. We'll be right back after this short break. What goes on inside the brain of a pitcher like John Smoltz? How does he tune out 50,000 screaming fanatics? How does he stay focused with a runner on first who does the 40 and 4 4 and a 342 hitter at the plate? You see, all Smoltz thinks about is this imaginary tunnel with a two inch leather target at the end. And there's only one sound that can break his concentration. Strike three! The preceding message was furnished by Major League Baseball.